So this happened yesterday. Um, Danny Green was traded again. Um, Oklahoma City Thunder shipped Danny Green to Philadelphia in exchange for Al Horford and a... 2025 first round, so five years from today, a uh, first round pick. And the 34th pick in last night's NBA draft. This is huge for Philadelphia for the simple fact that they get rid of Al Horford's, con uh, Al Horford's contract. He was kind of getting up there in age. And it also helps them with another shooter. Uh, they haven't really had a lot of three-point shooting since. J.J. Redick left, so this helps them replace that. Oklahoma City Thunder... Wasn't I think they acquired Dan Green for the simple fact that to move him off, they got picks and left type thing, uh, or they got the picks and moved him and they maxed out his assets. Then um, could Philadelphia contend with Green? He's been on championship teams the past two years. I don't think Philadelphia is going to drop out and win a championship t tomorrow morning or, or this year or anything, but it does give him a bit of a, a bit of a veteran role. Danny Green himself has now won three titles. You can really use that around Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons just for leadership in the locker room. You still have Tobias Harris there making a ton of money. Uh, probably more than he really needs or should be making at this point in his career, but I'm not the GM of the 76ers. The 76ers' new GM instantly going in, getting the mop and the bucket and cleaning it up. Al Horford will help the Oklahoma City Thunder a little. Bit of a big, has some playoff experience. You know, if it doesn't work out there, they can trade him. I believe he has two years left on his deal. They can trade him. They can trade him in the offseason, or if they don't like him, I'm sure they can find some value for him. And with Philly, Danny Green's an expiring. So if it doesn't work out and you're not happy with him at the end of the year, you don't have to resign him. You can let him walk and all that fun jazz, or you can, if you're you know nowhere near the playoffs, come the trade deadline, you can move him like that. So I think it's a good deal for Philadelphia. I think it's a good deal for Oklahoma City. Get a couple picks. We all know they're moving picks like there's no tomorrow. Um, if you like this video, hit make, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Um, if you don't like the video, that's okay too. I understand. Um, and it was great chatting with you. I'll let you know as the season goes how this ha what how this works out for the teams. But uh, it's great chatting with you guys. Have a great day. Bye.